Guys, it's Postbox Part. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're talking about everything huge in Fortnite, breaking down exactly what this 250 million investment from Sony could potentially be with collaborations with Spider Man and so much more potentially being in Fortnite. I'm going to break down all the details for you guys in today's video and also some of the upcoming map changes. Now, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, do consider smashing that subscribe right now. It really does help out the channel and it helps the channel grow. Thank you so much. And if you aren't subscribed, potentially you could be getting bad luck. So make sure you are pressing that subscribe subscribe thank you also smash a like on the video it takes less than a second guys i really want to see if we can double our likes on average we hit about 4,000 likes i want to try and aim for 8,000. it's a huge goal but if every single one of you watching the video right now just quickly taps it then we might hit it all right thank you everybody so where are we at with this we've got some mega mega stuff guys this is insane i first want to start off with the map changes you can see on screen here so here's a comparison between the maps tomorrow the water is going to lower down and there are rumors that the potential of risk Risky fully appearing from its water form will happen tomorrow. Here's a pretty good preview of that. And a few other areas of the map will become available. Also, there's going to be a bunch of changes over at the rig and the boat. They're going to be moving around and so much more. Again, we can't get an exact idea of what's going to happen just yet without actually seeing it in replay mode. But I will give you guys all of the coverage of the map changes in tomorrow's map change video. As always, guys, make sure you've got the notification bell turned on for that because it's going to be a mega massive video for all our map change fans out there some huge map changes coming into fortnite tomorrow okay with that being said we've got a lot more details as well regarding this sony club so first off i want to just mention that sony did invest 250 million into fortnite in dollars which is insane which is about one percent of the company so it's a very small amount but what could this mean for sony so sony and fortnite kind of explained that this wasn't going to be anything exclusive but then a few hours later we saw that this leak got leaked out from hyper which is a brand new glider control and a moat from playstation on that side of stuff so again the collaboration is already taking effect now obviously this was probably well pre-planned before the investment but what i want to talk about is that investment as a whole because i've had so many thoughts and ideas of what this could possibly be so the first thing i want to mention is is e3 announcements so a lot of games for example rockstar like you know gta 5 stuff like that will pick a publisher to actually develop or show their game off with now fortnite have never ever done this they've never chose a publisher at e3 to really show their game off with other than in the early days when it was first announced back back in 2012 13 time so we're going to ignore that but fortnite have previously shown it off with xbox as well in the early days but you know now, could this 250 million investment give Sony access to use Fortnite in their show conference at future events like E3 and stuff like that? You know, the events we see where they announce different things for their consoles and gaming systems. I do potentially think that this investment could do that. I do think it's a little bit small for the actual conference to be hosted by or using the Fortnite content. But then again, for Fortnite, it still will be available. Like it won't be exclusive for PlayStation. They'll just be announcing the stuff at the PlayStation concert or kind of conference. So that's one theory of mine that I think the investment might have been for. Also guys, here is tonight's item shop for those wondering. We do have the brand new Dark Heart skin coming into the shop as well as a few other items as well returning and her brand new pickaxes, which are pretty cool as well. So I'm sure many of you guys might be copying them. Obviously Bewitching Blades, Dark Heart, Two brand new things in the item shop other than that everything else is already here from the past but it's such a huge item shop it's so long i've never seen an item shop this big and obviously on the left hand side you have the double agent pack so if you're copying anything from this item shop any skin any item from daily special offers to featured to limited time offers make sure you guys are using code postbox pat thank you so much everybody supporting me it really does go a long way and obviously you guys have mean the absolute world to me supporting me so shout out to everybody supporting me on screen right right here if you guys would like shout outs in future videos go over to my twitter at postbox pat or my discord and i'll be posting you guys in the videos go on guys i need people to do it because we haven't got too many people posting i need more people to shout out so let me know if you're using my code and i can add you guys in thank you now what else do sony own well there are so many different games from crash bandicoot to obviously ratchet and clank to Sackboy, even to the spider-man universe and these are the areas i think fortnite are going to explore you know we've seen the collaboration with claptrap in borderlands what did he have we had the claptrap bat bling imagine getting a crash bandicoot bat bling how cool would that be and he talks a bit like claptrap how awesome would that be? I think that'd be crazy. And I think this is where we're going to see this investment actually take off. Because 
you know, when you invest in a company, you want to see return on your investment. You know, you want to see that happen. So they've invested 250 million into Fortnite or into Epic, which is just crazy. And it's only going to want to see that return. And one way, possibly in the Fortnite universe, that return could happen would obviously be through the actual system of the item shop by introducing collaborations. We know we've seen collaborations with DC and Marvel, and from previous experience and previous research, we can assume that this is through mutual agreements. Uh, but in the past, I think, you know, they have just basically been really good at communicating DC and Marvel. But I think Sony wanted to jump in on that train and they just simply invested in the company and now they're going to start throwing ideas forward to Epic. You know, they might start throwing ideas like, oh, let's put Spider-Man in Fortnite. Boom, in he comes. New games coming out, new films in the work. Everything's there, ready to go. Let's put Venom in Fortnite. Boom, there you are, collaboration. Just imagine, me and my little brother were talking about this. Just imagine if Spider-Man actually had its own LTM, like the Thanos LTM or like the Batman kind of thing at Gotham. Imagine what you could do, like it was like a New York Tilted or a New York Lazy or a New York Agency or whatever. It, that was the theme for it. And you have like the web shooters and so much more in Fortnite. You know, this is a big, big potential with this collaboration being introduced. So this is the sort of stuff I wanted to mention because it's something which really gets me excited for the future of Fortnite because we've seen these collaborations in the past. And I definitely think Fortnite want to expand out further on them. So we know they've got good relationships with Disney and Marvel and DC, but we've not seen many Sony collaborations just yet. So hoping to see some newer stuff there. Then there's the side stuff as well, like Ratchet and Clank. Obviously, that's an upcoming game as well with the PS5. And obviously, there is more stuff as well. For example, even obviously the Crash Bandicoot stuff and the Sackboy collaboration with the PlayStation 5. So that's something interesting to know as well. I've been covering a lot of details about the PlayStation 5, etc. We've got the brand new Spider-Man game coming out, the Miles Morales one, which is going to be really, really awesome. So maybe they're going to do a collaboration with Sony for that to advertise it. Now, then again, this can be a little bit biased towards Xbox because if you're promoting something which is exclusively on one console, it doesn't work always 100% in my opinion. So again, that's a little bit debatable. I'm not too sure if that would be the case because they can't really promote a game which if you buy the Spider-Man skin, you can only kind of play it on Sony. But what could happen is we could see the Spider-Man game also come to the Epic Games Store as well as the PlayStation side. So that could be another thing. Or for example, it could come out on the PlayStation for a month first, and then a month later, it comes out on the Epic Games Store. So these are all things that I'm interested in kind of thinking where it could go, the future of this Sony collaboration. Now we also have the upcoming Avengers game. Now, from what I know, it's actually owned by Warner Brothers, this game. So it's not owned by Sony, uh, from what I know. But I've heard that the Warner Bros. Studio actually wants to sell the developing company. And I'm not, I can't remember if it was for Sony or Xbox. So one of them were looking at investing in the Warner Brothers game studio which is going to be hosting the new avengers game so again we could see a collaboration on the lines of that it could be sony or it could be at microsoft i can't remember but that's something when i think when we think about these collabs with sony it's going to be for something that's on both consoles or even a film so you know sony pictures or sony you know that's another thing as well sony records as well because we've got a whole other music industry labels and records as well which we haven't really dived too much into on fortnite but again maybe sony have put this collaboration in so they can get some of their artists on the party mode i haven't really broken down in details on what labels the artists were in fortnite i'd love to actually do that in a future video to kind of get a prediction are they teaming up with a certain label if anyone wants to do that in the comments that would mean the world to me obviously you might have to have a passion for music but if you want to go through all the artists that are performing fortnite and list their label that they're on or which company kind of owns that artist let me know it'd be interesting to see between like warner sony and a lot of those sorry if this video is a little bit more like business related it's just something i was really interested about and this is a topic which i think everybody should be aware of this is how things get crafted up when companies invest this sort of amount into games we may see like you know something happen between xbox sony and all this sort of stuff so generally if you want my full-on prediction for this collaboration with the 250 million investment i think it'll be something to do with spider-man we're yet to see spider-man in fortnite and obviously i think sony may feel a bit left out about it maybe so they thought you know what let's invest 250 get the epic game store investment going let's get some spider-man in fortnite get some other spider-man stuff on the epic store as well and just go spider-man crazy because it's one of the biggest obviously franchises in the world and it's not owned currently by Marvel. It's still, the rights are still in the hands of Sony. They've been with Sony for a very long time. So, you know, that's interesting to see. It's the same sort of problem we've seen in the filming industry. For example, it was very difficult to get Spider-Man to actually come in the Avengers uh, from what we know. And obviously we've known stuff about this. We also know that Spider-Man himself is having some contract issues that happened a while back. 
I can't remember all the ins and outs of it, but it was interesting and a lot of people in the community were getting really annoyed that we may not see Spider-Man in any more future Avengers because of a contract or something. Interesting stuff. Obviously, this is where things are with the world, you know, not everyone's aware of this and that's why I like to make these videos to understand, you know, a little bit more behind how all these things happen and all like the ins and outs, like all the little secrets, I guess, which aren't really publicly displayed other than the final product. So you've got to kind of look at these things, you know, whatever age you are, whatever interest you have, I think it's definitely something which we should all consider because this sort of investment will develop something in Fortnite or in the Epic Game Store. Then again, this could just simply be for Epic Games and Sony to team up with some sort of releases. You know, we've seen even uh, the Unreal Engine 5 running on PlayStation 5. That was quite an interesting look as well. Why did they choose to do it on PlayStation 5 and not Xbox Series X? Could this be part of this investment deal? So this is what I'm starting to think. Are these like small investments allowing PlayStation to team up with Epic in a small category? So just for little subtle things, like for example, E3 maybe next year or GamesCon, and we may see a Fortnite announcement at the PlayStation kind of conference. So this is the sort of stuff I'm thinking, because generally announcing Fortnite at a PlayStation conference doesn't affect anything. Like, you know what I mean? We all know that Fortnite's on every console, and even they could say in the conference, this will be available on all platforms from this day. You know, there's no exclusivity, which is probably what they do. So this is the sort of thing I'm thinking, you know, is this just simply going to be for conference point of views? Is it going to be for further than that, like movies and games? Let me know in the comments if you think that. And obviously, is this going to be more of a music kind of standpoint as well regarding the record label? Because Sony have lots of different companies parent companies i guess sony is the parent of many other smaller companies so definitely some stuff which we should all consider we could keep going on and on and on and on about all the things that sony own and putting them into fortnite but i'm just trying to generally think as a bigger scope you know kind of thinking of like the most obvious ones rather than going into like a huge huge depth of kind of just looking at the whole scope so i've gone for a pretty big scope but not nothing too big because then we can just break down every single company that sony own and say it's coming into the game and i don't want to do that because it's not guaranteed but i just want to point out some of the more obvious ones you know like spider-man and that so that's why i did that in today's video but again i really do hope you guys did enjoy this more kind of business related video i guess if you like this sort of content though i can continue to produce it this is the sort of stuff that interests me a lot when we look at uh, video games especially stuff like epic games and stuff like that so definitely Definitely uh, is something which I am interested in and probably will continue to cover in news videos for you guys regarding Fortnite. And this will definitely affect the future for the casual players, especially on what we're going to be seeing in our item shop or at least in the Epic Game Store. This investment won't be for nothing or it could just simply be for conferences as well. You know what I mean? We don't know exactly where Sony are going to go with this, but hopefully get some interesting stuff out of it. And I can't wait to see what we get. So yeah, smash the like, smash the subscribe. I'll see you guys in future content. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on screen. I'll see you guys in the videos on screen right now.